All right, so you've been sitting around reading books about fertility and you've got a pretty good understanding. Or maybe you've pulled up a college study or something to really get into the data, right? Does that sound like you? Hmm, maybe not. Probably you've been on YouTube, liking and disliking videos until you find something that seems kind of reasonable and you go with that. So listen, here's what we're gonna do today. I am gonna give you the 411 on the 412 ratio and we're gonna talk what that's all about. So, let's go ahead and get into the video and roll that intro. What's up, everybody? everybody so let me just tell you the reason that I wanted to do this video was because of an email I got and I'm gonna read it to you so that you get an idea of what this whole thing is gonna be about and where we go with it okay so here's what it says it says what's up JP first off I love your videos and I've learned a ton soil series was super cool and it opened my mind to more than just spreading fur thank you very much I saw a video the other day talking about the best he's got that in quotes fertilizer for lawns and a 412 ratio I was wondering if there's any truth to this and what your opinion is. Thank you so much, Mike. All right, Mike, we're gonna answer that and hopefully we're gonna clear up a whole bunch of stuff. But first, I need to tell a little bit of a story. And so, here it goes. Let's say you're a bit more advanced and you decide that you're going to take a soil sample with you and head down to your local extension office with it. Okay, so you go down there, you walk in, you bring your soil sample with you, you walk up to the guy at the counter and you're like, hey, here's my soil, what fruit should I buy? The guy's like, ugh, let me stop you right here. So if you're doing this already, you're kind of behind the eight ball. And so I'm going to pause right here and I'm gonna let Dr. Josh say something about it real quick and then we'll jump back into this whole story. Well, hello, 412 ratio. Person walks in the extension office, they need an annual uh, fertilizer recommendation for their property extension agent not going to ask too many questions about the property they're basically just going to give them a 412 uh, ratio to put out on their lawn essentially four pounds a n one pounds of p two pounds of k this is what they roll with it's a standard recommendation and uh see it happen all the time so now you know i'm gonna get back to studying here so let's get back into the action and see where this leads, okay? Okay, fine. I'll be right back, give me a minute. So he goes into the back room, you don't really know what he's doing, he's rustling around back there, and he comes back out, hands you a paper, says, here you go. So you take the paper, you're like, thanks, uh, I've got money, take my money. And the guy said, hey, this is all you need. And you're like, okay, thanks mister, have a nice day. And then you leave. So that was kind of fun for me to make. It was just sort of silly and maybe a little artistic. I don't know. I had a good time with it. I hope you enjoyed it. But here's the deal. That 412, four pound, one pound, two pound thing is a generic recommendation. And really, if you're doing generic, great, more power to you. That is a baseline function. And that's not taking really a whole lot into account, okay? There are other turf types aside from your standard Bermuda or fescue or bluegrass. If you're doing centipede, that's gonna be way too much to put out there. So that 
412, you can just throw straight out the window. Then if there's an area where you live in a, a FOSS band zone, you can't use that there either. You can't put a pound of FOSS out. If you're in an area where you have high phosphorus in your soils already and you add more phosphorus to it, you're going to lock out elements like iron and your grass may lose some of that dark green. So the one size fits all thing, it doesn't work. It hasn't worked. It's just basic. So if you're on my channel, you're here for a reason. You've come to learn more about it and dig in a little deeper and you want to understand how everything sort of functions together and how you're going to move forward with a powerful program. So let's look at how some manufacturers have taken this 412 concept and then tried to apply it to fertilizer, okay? So maybe you could find a 4%, 1%, 2% product out there. Probably not. That would be a significant amount of filler and you would need hundreds of pounds to put it out. But let's just say there's one of those. Let's, well, all right, we won't. That one will throw out the window. But maybe there's an 824. Probably people have seen something like that. Those are maybe out there. But again, you're going to use hundreds and hundreds of pounds per acre to get that out. 1648. There's tons of manufacturers that have that blend as a basic blend. And sometimes they call that a balanced blend. Other people who make a triple, like a triple 12, triple 15, triple 18, triple 20, they call that balance. So that whole balance thing is a little bit loose. Okay, or maybe you've seen a 2510. All of those are out there. Those are all standard materials and they're all going to be based on a particular app rate, okay? So if you've got a 2510, that bag is gonna cover 10,000 square feet. If you've got a 1648, in order to get everything out of that, you need to basically run that on 8,000 square feet if you're actually going to put it out at the true four, one, two ratio, and that would be four times per year. So a lot of this was based on putting a pound of in out four separate occasions. Again, not everybody does it that way. We all have different reasons for doing things. We all have different application techniques, but that's where this whole method comes from. Now, I know this may not get talked about a whole lot. It's not like you're gonna be out by the grill one day and you're cooking up some food and you're gonna be like, hey buddy, how about that sports ball game last night? And your buddy's like, oh man, I freaking love sports ball. And you're like, yeah, but what do you think about this 412 ratio? What the? That's really how that conversation's gonna go. It's just sort of a side thing that people don't really get into or get into depth about. It doesn't really come up in regular conversation. But that's all it is, four pounds, one pound, two pounds, okay? So you can split that out across the course of a season however you choose to. You can apply that via liquid, you can apply that via granular, you can do it however you want. But if you have watched my channel and you've been part of this and you've followed along with what I do, I obviously throw a lot of that conventional wisdom out the window and we use other elements in order to build the soil up so we don't need to use as much nitrogen as the number one there, and we cut down the rates on everything else in order to have healthy turf. But if you wanna find out more about that, you're gonna have to subscribe to the channel, you're gonna have to watch, and you're gonna have to jump back on some older videos, cause I ain't covering that off tonight. So, I hope this opened up your mind a little bit to get a little bit better understanding about this whole 412 thing. And, uh, you know, if you have any further questions about it, Feel free to drop them down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. And uh, that's it. So I'll see you guys real soon. Later. So let's talk about if there are products out there that run on that 412 ratio. But for that, I'm going to need a whiteboard so I can describe to you what that means and what that would look like. So let's do that right now. Are you ready? In three, two, I didn't even count right.